Hi guys, I'm Alan. Welcome back to my channel for another video and also thanks for the new subscribers. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to sublimate on canvas using your Epson Workforce 7710 or your Epson Workforce 7720, either pigment inks or dye sublimation. But today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Epson Workforce 7710 with pigment inks to sublimate on canvas because the quality will look better and last longer. I mean, you could, you could also use your Wait, you could also use dye sublimation to do so, but for me, I would recommend you use pigment inks for better quality. All right, so I just got me some cheap canvas from Amazon, and I got like three different or four different size that I'm gonna go ahead and use. So this is the design you guys looking here. This is the one I'm gonna go ahead and print, cut, and just actually apply to my canvas so i know there's a lot of people using mod podge to do those type of things and all you do you just put the mod podge on top of the canvas and then print the pictures and put it on top but this one the, the, the one i'm gonna show you guys is not there you're gonna actually print the design and cut it and then sublimate it on the canvas for it'll look better and it will look more kind of professional because you just if you don't and also if you don't want to just buy a regular uh, picture frame and print the pictures and put it inside of of the frame and hang it up on the wall if you don't want to do that so i'm going to show you if you have a printer you got um, the canvas and i would recommend you use a cutting machine because if you're not going to cut your design or you're not going to print the entire design on that paper it's better to use a cutting machine to cut around your design. So this is that's exactly what I do here. As you guys can see, I already set up my registration line and my design is already cut because I already feel like I'm gonna use a eight by 10 canvas. I know the design is not gonna cover the whole entire canvas that I'm gonna print on. Or what you could do if it's not fit, the design is not fit the, the canvas, you can print I mean, you can paint around your canvas just to take away some of those, like the white marks or the white residue that's gonna stay on your canvas. All right, so there's two ways. Either you can print the whole entire design on that heat transfer paper to cover the whole entire canvas. If not, you could cut around your design and then you, so you don't wanna leave any white residue, you cut around your design and then you apply it on the canvas. And when you're done, if it's not covered the whole entire canvas, you can actually paint or spray around your canvas. So I'm just gonna show you guys, telling you guys the trick, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I got my design here already ready to print. My registration line here, I cut, I don't think you guys could see the around the design that's already cut but when i cut it you guys are gonna see exactly how it come out and i already marry my images here okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and print the design and cut it and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it all right
right, so now I'm at the heat press. This is my canvas. It's really cheap. <laughs> 